See, I've learned this, right? I was reading um, uh, uh, about the Sufis. Uh, and uh, I was reading, um, it's called Al, -Ghazal, Al Ghazali and the Ishmaelis. Now, he was against the Ishmaelis. Why? Because he was a Sunni Muslim. Mm. Now, the Ishmaelis was the Fatimans, you know, the Sufis, you know, all of them. But anyway, dig this. They did not believe that man could come back from a physical death. They didn't believe in reincarnation. So when it says all the history of Islam never revealed anything of anyone, that's the truth. Mm. You understand what I'm saying? So the Sufi or the Fatimids, they knew that they nobody could come back from a physical death. You understand what I'm saying? But that's that, that was the beef that Al Ghazali had because he was saying that a man could come back if a law presented it. Mm. You understand what I'm saying? But the Sufis didn't agree with that. You understand what I'm saying? A man cannot come back from a physical death or reincarnate. You understand what I'm saying? And the Sufis knew that. Or the fact of it, they knew this. You see what I'm saying? So, later on down the line, Al Ghazali became a, uh, became a Sufi. You understand what I'm saying? Because he started to understand, because he was weighing and judging. You know what I'm saying? That's what he was doing. And he was looking and he was discussing things with many different uh, Arab scholars or Muslim scholars. You understand what I'm saying? You know? So when we say in all the history of Islam, it is right and exact. It is right and exact, because they never believed that you would come back from a physical death. You understand what I'm saying? That was created by some other shit with the Sunnis. Mm. You know, dealing with a mystery what? God. If Mega did this.